CBR 600 Double oh. You are watching a video from Cycle Cruises All in One Sport Bike Channel. Subscribe today. Here's an update video on how I had my GoPro Hero 2 mounted on my Scorpion EXL 500 helmet. As you can see there, I took a GoPro Hero flat surface mount and trimmed off the top with a hacksaw. Then I just took an X-Acto knife and trimmed off the adhesive backing on the back of the mount so that it matched perfectly to the shape of the vent slide. Then I just mounted the GoPro Hero flat surface mount onto the vent slide and let it cure for 24 hours. And here's my GoPro Hero 2 camera and I just drilled in to the housing there so I have access to the external mic input and I just used the J-hook as you see there. And you just simply slide the J-hook there onto the mount and you'll get a nice field of view of the road much better than I had before where I had it mounted lower on the chin bar of the helmet. And as you can see there, I just use a cheap flexible mic there. Let's plug it right there into the camera and set the mic up underneath the chin bar of the helmet. It, it'll bend right perfectly in position to your mouth. And as you guys see in my videos, it works out absolutely perfect. In my opinion, I still recommend the GoPro Hero 2 over the GoPro Hero 3 and 3 Plus just because the GoPro Hero 2 was proven to be more reliable. I've had my camera since 2012 since I first started motovlogging. I've had absolutely zero problems, but I'm still hearing a lot of reports of the uh, GoPro Hero 3 and 3 Plus having problems. And on top of that, you have to get an external mic uh, adapter in order to use the external mic jack on the camera so that's something extra that has to stick out the side of the camera unlike the GoPro Hero 2 where you can just plug that bad boy in and you're good to go uh, and far as video resolution yeah you get the high video resolution with the GoPro Hero 3 and 3 Plus but you don't need it on YouTube for mode of vlogging you know I use 720 by 60 because it used less space on the card and also on my computer as well but that's really all you need for mode of vlogging is a 720 by 60 frames per second but that's just my thoughts. Links to get the items shown in this video are located in the info section of this video. And it's time for Cycle Cruiser's recommended videos. Links are in the info section of this video. Check out this video where I demonstrate the comfort on the 2007 through 2012 CBR 600 double R. High vis is the way to go, baby. So check out my Scorpion EXO 500 Neon Oil Helmet Review. Super Sport or Cruiser, which one do you think is safer on the streets? Check out my motor vlog on this very topic. Woo, those bikes sure are pretty. I think I'm going to get the prettiest bike of them all so I can look cool on the streets. Well, hey guys, you might want to check out this motor vlog because I'm going to tell you that's the last thing you want to do. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs. Get your Psycho Cruiser Sport Bike themed apparel at PsychoCruiser.com. PsychoCruiser.com. For a limited time only, get free shipping on all Psycho Cruiser apparel. Use coupon code BELIEVE14. Hey, join in on the discussion over at my forum at PsychoCruiser.com and also hit like on my Facebook page for new updates. And that's Facebook.com forward slash PsychoCruiser1.